you will see here yeah, we love stone embedded yeah, here so we will leave it as it is 24 hours you see the bubbles the water bubbles over here so now as you can now we can see no water coming in use oil generously no problem so smooth and it's not dusty anymore i don't feel any dusty at all hello friends who bali sir with you and your family and after a long time uh, i have managed to find some time uh, to make another video so in this video so one of the most questions have been is how to season you know, glitch at this you know um so this process is very simple uh, seasoning the uh, clay pots just the matter that it just takes time so patient there are few ways of you know few different ways of seasoning so what i normally do at my home and you know my parents and the grandmas they we just soak it in the water for a minimum of 24 days and then take it off and then uh, give another clean wash soak it again for another day. minimum 24 hours and up to 3 days is really good so for today i've got three types of uh, uh, clay pots that sells very well uh, you know in our store so this is we call it as um, uh, curry pot or some pot or because this is big and uh, it's got you know enough uh, depth so it we can cook easily around 2 to 3 liters of uh, curry or some stuff and this is uh, the kadai you can see it's got a nice handles a nice depth as well and this is a very solid product and you can see it's very thick the walls are very thick and the hands are very thick and this is my personal favorite so i don't know if um, you know many of you are using this um, you know even now um, so this is actually called as um, uh, doll masher you know you see here we love stone a tiny uh, uh, stones in embedded here and then you boil the dal and then put it here use the masher and then we can mash it probably in another video i'll show you how to do that but for today's seasoning so these are the products the fast moving products i've taken so the first part um first give a good rinse yeah uh, even you can use a scrubber as well the detergents whatever just water is enough so if you have scratch uh, or the rubber use it otherwise i've got a you know this so i'm pretty much going to use this one. just give a good rinse so it will just take care all the dust particles handle them like a baby they are very super fragile so yeah and now we just um, um, fill the bucket water wait until you know the product goes fully into the merged into the water as you can see i am trying to fill it with the you know uh, the full bucket of water so this clay pot's got um, uh, plenty of pores in it so the water will be absorbed and then this will you know this process will make the whole pot even more stronger as you can see you know the bubbles um, going around i'm not sure if the camera can show it properly but uh, you can see the bubbles the water bubbles somewhere here so the process is pretty much working nice Make sure, yeah. Like I said, always you need patience and extra, extra care while we use these kind of, uh, you know, the cooking pots. They are super, super friendly. So we will leave it as it is for minimum 24 hours, and then we we'll continue off for 24 hours. Hello friends. So I thought of opening this after 24 hours, but um, we let it go for three days. Yes, three straight days. So we're gonna open after three days. So let's come close. Yeah. 
as you can see um, you see absorb the water very well into the pores i can smell the fresh water like because the the clay the clay mixed with water I can smell it it feels really good so let's now take this one by one off and then can also feel that it's a bit sticky so let's just scrap it with hands and then the next step will be I'm gonna let it naturally dry probably I will uh, leave it outside you know, under the Sun uh, tomorrow and then we will apply the uh, oil so that will be our final step so i will see you soon so now as you can now you can see we dried it um, on the outside for about a day or so now you can see it's naturally dried and no water content in it And I don't feel anymore the you know the natural clay smell that I um, had on the day one. Now it's so fresh. So now the last step is to apply the oil. So pretty much you can use any cooking oil, but I prefer to use sesame oil. You can use scrub anything but I am just using my hand. Apply both inside and outside and some some people only do out inside because that's where you cook but I prefer both inside and out and it gives a good look as well. Use oil generously no problem. It's only going to do the good. properly seasoned with sesame oil and we will just repeat the same for the other item this one is completely oiled now you can clearly see the chips inside which is used to, to grind the doll to smash the doll Now let's oil the karai. Cool. So we have uh, applied the oil on the karai as well. So now what we do? So we will let it dry again for another minimum a day. Okay, and then we'll come back. So this is after I applied the oil and I let it dry you know, in the open air and under the sun rays for about more than little over 24 hours and now you can see all the oil has been perfectly absorbed by the clay and I can feel so smooth and it's not dusty anymore. I don't feel any dusty at all and I can smell the, you know, the sesame oil in it and no more clay smell. Same goes for the clay karai as well. No dust. It's all perfectly clear. And same here. And this is another product uh, which I didn't show in the previous video. I see some things. Um, in the meantime, this is really as well. So the process is very simple. And yeah, just uh, the process wise, like I said, it's very simple, but it's just time taking process and we just need to put some, uh, you know, apply some patience and yeah, that's it. Otherwise, it's all very straightforward and hope you enjoyed this video and uh, 
yeah one more step and now this is ready to you know start cooking but one more optional step what you can do is you can fry the onions you know and throw it away or even you can boil the rice and keep the starch water for a few hours and then throw it away and then start using it but it's absolutely optional and it's up to you otherwise this is ready to go anyway so hope you like this video and uh, please share the video and the channel with your friends and if you like share and subscribe and uh, we will try our best to bring all our traditional and authentic products you know, to the market as, as much as possible love you please take care and stay healthy thank you